The table below shows the relationship between two numbers. We want to express the relationship between the two numbers in words and symbols. So let's call the numbers in the top row of the table the first number. Those in the bottom row would be called the second number. We have one, three, two, six, three, nine, and so on. We can see that the second number is equal to three times the first number. Looking at the table, you can see this is true throughout. So we have the formula in words and symbols, but we can do better. Let's call the first number F and the second number S. We can then write this as S is equal to 3 times F. When working with algebra, we don't normally write the multiplication symbol between two things multiplied together. So we write the formula as S equals 3F. Remember, 3F means 3 times F. The multiplication sign is left out by convention. Here we have a second example. The first number is in the top row. The second number is in the bottom row. Let's consider the numbers. 1 and 1 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and this pattern continues. Remember, 3 times 3 could be known as 3 squared. So we can say here that the second number is equal to the first number squared. This means the first number times itself. We can do better than the word equation using f for the first number and s for the second number we can write s is equal to f squared. Remember f squared means f times f. We could check this out with a value. If f is 4 4 times 4, we know, is 16. And we can see from the table that this is the correct value for the second number.